Pinewood to Liberty City. If a celeb shits, eats, or snorts it, Fizz is there. Hi, welcome to this edition of Fizz. The entertainment and celebrity scene is buzzing like an overdose celebutant. I'm Jane Labrador, and I'm joined as ever by our celebrity experts, Marcel Lemieux. Jane, it's a celebtabulous week. I have got so much dirt to share. Woo! And Jeffron James, who is here to make fun of all the people we can. What's up, people? Liberty City's entertainment scene has been hotter than a Baghdad barbecue. We've had a couple of big name casualties on Star Junction. Gloria Unsworth was singing her menopause blues away in the musical Middle Age until she had a hot flash when it was canceled this week. That's right, Jane. The show has failed to reach 45. Performances, that is. <laughs> Who wants to hear anything about the horrors of aging? Listen to this. I'm 40 and nobody wants to fuck me. Lasagna belly and ass kind of lumpy. You know the worst part is when she showed her flabby bat wings on the stage. Oh, that's revolting. I hate life without an airbrush. Get the... Pick your face up. It's something called surgery. Nip tuck. Get some work done on your funky fat... This is the entertainment industry. Also, tourists in Liberty City are complaining about indecent performances at a local night spot. The Perestroika Club in Hove Beach is home to a wide range of vaudeville performances and has outraged patrons with both the quality and violent content of its acts. Oh, these rotten, dirty Ruskies. They're just taking over the entertainment industry in this town. First the strippers smelling like vodka, and now they want the theater. Thank God we still have Fleet Week. You do realize you're a stereotype. I am not. I am an individual. There's no other entertainment commentator who's camp, sassy, and bitchy. Leave Me Alone has been... Boys, please... Magicians, singers, jugglers, and more are part of the vaudeville performances at the Perestroika Club. The master of ceremonies had this to say. We have best entertainment in the whole of the city. You don't like real cabaret entertainment? Don't come. You offended by men throwing knives at ex-girlfriend? Don't come. Some nights we have cold, other nights trash a woman drink too much, sings about her stepfather and sex change. It's a good time. Juggling, spousal abuse, magic, people bursting into song, sex changes. Sounds just like a night at my parents' house. I would love to get paid to throw knives at bitches. I would be a bitch knife act throwing motherfucker. And more on the terrible tragedy. Ah, that's right. We haven't had a paparazzi beaver shot for weeks. It's a catastrophe for our ratings. Thank God. If I have to see Jill Van Krastenberg's chapped and cracked chimp lips on the internet one more time, I'll be back in therapy. Actually, no. What we're talking about is the death of actor Wayne Tierson, who died a few weeks ago, but whose death has got great ratings and web hits. Oh, yes. Tiersen was found dead in a Las Venturas brothel, and Vinewood is struggling to come to terms with their loss. Shock. Mourning. This is a tragic blow to the entertainment industry, and one we here at Fizz are determined to help stretch out. Aw, there, there. It's terrible. I, I feel your pain. A 20-year-old millionaire dying of too many lap dances and too many drugs. It's a real tragedy. <laughs> well, you're right. And he did dress like shit. Ah, see? That's right. Celebrities deserve to die for being better than us. That's the subtext of this entire show. And some of the biggest names in comedy are coming to Liberty City. Cat Williams is here to do stand-up at the Split Sides Club. But he was also part of a protest in Middle Park against injustice. I spoke with him earlier. Why are you out here protesting? Let me explain something to you. We are here to tell the world that there's a lot of injustice going on. Sick people, old people, people that want to watch TV. We're being oppressed. How are you being oppressed? How am I being... Do you know how much it costs to get an ounce of good weed in Liberty City? Motherfuckers want $500. How the fuck am I supposed to feed my kids and order pay-per-view wrestling and get a sandwich when weed costs that goddamn much? And half of it's just too motherfucking strong anyway. Names like White Widow, Northern Lights, AK-47. I'm not trying to order a gang. I'm trying to order some regular weed. You're not here to protest against the pharmaceutical companies taking advantage? Hell no. Nah. 
I love pharmaceutical companies. I wish I had a pharmaceutical company. I wish I was a pharmaceutical company. All kids should be on some sort of pharmaceuticals. Something to keep them calm and inside where they belong. Not out fucking with my riders stealing my shit. Comedian Cat Williams. Groundbreaking illusionist Brian Vesuvius wowed audiences recently when he made his junk disappear between his legs. I could do that. See? Look, I'm a woman. It's easy. You're just talking. Please, put that little guy away. Ugh. Now, Vesuvius is discussing his next big project, a stunt in which he plans to shrink his head to half its size. I like a little head, usually after dinner. Stop doing that, would you? Vesuvius will perform his cranial reduction live in space, or so he claims. We will stay with this story. Meanwhile, we spoke to nightclub impresario Larissa Slalom about her newest Algonquin venture. It's called Anna. It's going to be the hottest club in town. Super VIP. All the celebrities, you'll never get in. We've got a gold scale at the entrance. If you wait too much, you can't come in. It's very chic. And there's a diamond-encrusted toilet right by the entrance. So you can purge till you hit the magic weight. And then the bouncer lets you in. Right, Lamont? That's right. Get the boffin, bitches. People will do anything to get in our club. They lie about being a celebrity or a celebrity stepkid. They offer you sex, drugs, and money? Now it's down to the cold, hard fact. How much do you weigh? Platinum vomitoriums are very now. Well, of course, it's a bit of a joke. We just want people to have a good time in a safe environment. I have to say that, or they'll shut me down again. Hey, anybody have a line? Oh, yeah, Tony Prince is a loser. Fantastic. Oh, I can't wait to stop by. That's about all we have time for. We'll stay on top of the celebs, stalking them till they snap. And when they do, you'll hear about it first on Fizz. Fizz! WKTT. Because the battle for America begins here. WKTT 1066. We know the truth.